This is Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17, and it reads this. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am Yahweh. Time out. The teacher putting her in the timeout. Problem is, she ain't having it. <laughs> Roll the tape. You in timeout. There's no excuse. Let's say, you supposed to be back in timeout. I didn't say get out. You and Jayla in timeout. Well, let me tell you this, Linda. My name ain't Linda. So you sit right there in timeout, little bad little girl. No, let me tell you something. No, don't if tell I, me. If I was in here, I would surely take a day off from you and then a day off from these kids. I'm out the classroom. I'm just done with you. I'm done with you too, but you in time out. Oh, let me tell you something, honey. This is not going to leave. You're going to be in time out? Oh. That's why you in time out right I'm now. I'm sick still. I think so. Well, when I get up out of town and go to bed, I will be glad to go home and enjoy the rest of my life. Oh, my okay, now, I want you to take the... Barakatha Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Koch Law Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakakardash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this word in all truth and sincerity. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways, risking their lives to seal the 144,000 elect. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to the Achim that be known as the speckled birds, the Israelite foreigners, because their forefathers mingled with the heathen nations. And a strong shalom to the Aquafium sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. This is your brother, Amath Yaiz from Yahawada. Amath your eyes from your howada coming at y'all with another lesson, another beautiful edifying lesson, a lesson on correction, on, on, on rebuke. And uh just to let you know right now, I, I may I may get a lot of uh aquafium that's gonna hate me for this lesson, that's gonna uh, rebel against me. And that's just that's plain and simple. Uh just but basically what I want to say to that is this right here. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Okay, because this is all for, this is all pure love right here, this lesson. And trust and believe, I haven't done a lesson like this in a while, and I've been meditating on this uh, either either a couple or a few weeks or maybe even a month to bring this lesson out. And it just finally dawned on me with the spirit to bring this lesson out, man, because I can't keep on having this on my mind. And just FYI, for edification's sake, like I said before, this is love. This is correction. This is to make sure that the Aquafium is out there doing what they're supposed to be doing. And uh, I was going to compile this lesson with um, also correction to the brothers. But the, the precepts that I got for the aqu for the Aquafium is just too much. And I don't want this lesson to be too long. So I'm just going to do it. Mm, so lucky. I'm just going to do the aqua themes first and then I'm going to do the Akiyam second. So just to let you know that, uh, sisters, you know, I'm not just making it, it's making it seem like I'm targeting y'all. I am going to uh, correct the brothers, too, so we can all stay in the spirit, so we can all get the hell out of Babylon, man. And that's the only reason why I'm doing this lesson, to, because I don't want to see us suffering in sin. I don't want to see us going off. And, you know, just the same, same thing with me, too, man. Like every lesson that I put out, I'm correcting myself, too, man, believe it or not. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to have that prideful spirit and basically think that I'm not, that's on y'all, man. You know, that's on y'all, man. But, you know, I'm just doing this 100% out of love, man. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started, man. Because I've been seeing a lot of a lot of sisters, Aquafium out here while we in church on live now. 
Let me let me clarify this, man, so we can have some understanding just on just on common sense. Now, when we on live and we in church, that's church. That's that's live. And, you know, it's it's a, it's a lot of beautiful sisters, man. I, I can't even remember the sisters names, but it's a lot of beautiful sisters that uh, 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 um, that don't even when they come in, when they come in the live chat, they don't, don't they don't even say anything. They don't even salute brothers. But when the chat is over, that's when they salute everybody. And that's when they give all, all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Those sisters fear Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. And they go by his instructions, man. They don't they don't go off just to have a voice in the goddamn live, man. And like I said, you know, probably, you know, a lot of sisters going to get mad at me for coming out with this lesson and probably cuss me out and block me and everything else. But, and, and basically, like I said before, I this is what it is. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. And I really don't because this is all about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is about getting the hell up out of this kingdom, man. Point blank, period, man. So if you can't take this correction and if you truly do not fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then I don't know what to tell you, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not going to have no rebellious niggas and no rebellious nigga woman in the kingdom. And if it, if it's really that hard for you to just to just to be quiet in church, man, and just to even even to be on the comment board having smiley face smiley faces, flames, and and saying this and saying that, sisters, man, just stop disrespecting the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Seriously, because you're not going against me. You having an attitude with me with me bringing out this lesson and cussing me out and going at me and saying this nigga he's a he's a feminist or whatever the case may be. That's cool, no problem. I don't give a shit. You can hate me. You can do everything you want to do to me. I don't. Make, it doesn't make a difference for me, man. I love you. How about Shimmy? How about Shai? And I fear him. And you should be. And you should be on the same level, man. But yet you want to rebel against him, and you want to. You want to speak in church, when the scriptures say not to do so. And I'm going to bring those scriptures out today, and I'm going to bring other scriptures out on how you're supposed to be carrying yourself as a woman, man. So let's go ahead and get it started, man. Because I don't want to make it too long, but I already know it's going to be a little bit long. And this also goes for the brothers out here that's, that's basically letting you sisters speak on their lives and shit, man. They going off. I don't give a fuck if you an elder or whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah, and, and, that, and, that, and that's bad. And that's bad itself. If you're an elder and you have 10 years plus and you have so much knowledge, you know, you, 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 you know the scriptures, man. Come on, man. Why you got a babe? Why do you have a babe like myself telling you niggas this, man? And if you want to get mad at me, fuck you too, man. Seriously. Cause you put you you putting sin upon Israel for the, for going against the scriptures, man. I'm I'm seeing a lot of lessons with with uh with uh uh uh, uh, uh people going at the brotherhood and, and talking about Jake doing this and Jake doing that. What about Eve? What about Eve? What about Eve talking on the live stream in church and shit when the, when the scripture said not to do so, man? You niggas, man. Job chapter fifteen. And this is verse six, and it reads this, thy own mouth condemneth thee, and not I. Yea, thy own lips testify against thee. And that's what y'all doing, man, when y'all speaking out, just, oh, Salakia, forgive me. No, be quiet. It's not permitted for you to speak and for you to, for you to have authority over a man, man. And you condemning yourself, man, by speaking. Now, sisters, man, look, man, I, I love y'all, man. We, we have... The most beautiful, precious woman in Yasharala, man. Y'all, hands down, man. I'm not taking nothing against y'all, man, but I will not see sin suffer upon Israel for the littlest bullshit that should not be happening, man. And like I said, if I have if I have Aquafian followers and y'all want to go against me and y'all hate me, that's cool. No problem. You can unsubscribe. I have no problem with that. And, and for you sisters that want a man to bow down to you, we don't need you in Yasharala, man. Go ahead and go ahead and go back into the world and suffer that death by pain and get correct and get corrected by that pain, man. Cause I, I you sisters that want a weak man that's gonna bow down to you and let and, and let you control him. Wow. Wow. That's all I gotta say to that is wow. You do you don't you don't want a real man. You wanna you want a effeminate faggot.
All right, let's go to Matthew chapter 12, and we're going to start at uh, Salakia. We're going to start at verse verse 37, and it reads this, by thy, by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. And that's powerful too, man. That, that also lines up into this lesson, man. You can be justified by your words, and you know how? By being quiet. And you can be condemned by your words by speaking out when you're not supposed to, man. Especially if the scriptures tell you not to, to do so, man. Aqua Afim, y'all have a beautiful position in Yashirala, man. Y'all are precious, man. Y'all are princesses, man. But we can't sit right here and go off and expect. All right, put it this way. Yeah, you, you, uh, this it's just like Elder uh, Ta, Elder uh, Apostle Tahar said, a woman is not fully in the truth, man. And, I, and I'm beginning to understand more and more daily when I study, when I fast and I pray and I and I and I and I go out to the and I go out to the live streams to watch these lessons and I read brothers lessons and I read comment boards and I and I'm looking at the live stream and see how things is going. I'm, I'm beginning to understand why he said what he said, man. You women are rebellious, man. You're, you're more rebellious than the men. I don't want to shut up. And that's the problem. And, then, and another thing is too. Hold on, matter of fact, it wasn't even, it wasn't even in my in my lesson. But let me go ahead and bring this up because y'all y'all need some clarification on what's going on, man. Y'all think the Most High is just working with y'all? The Most High is working with through men. You get you get you're getting saved through the man, not not through yourself. Ezekiel chapter nine, and I'm gonna start at verse four, and it reads this. And Yahweh said unto Unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of, of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others, he said in, in, in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite, let and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Sl slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom, whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Let me read that again because I know I butchered it a little bit. Ezekiel chapter 9 starting at verse 4 and it reads this. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have pity, neither it's like you let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, both come but like it, but not come near any man upon who is the but not 